It's that time again. Every 90 days we do this in the United States. Are you optimistic about the pace of U.S. corporate earnings or do you think the rally may have gotten ahead of the actual numbers? Well, I think the, the consensus is for Q2 numbers to come in quite weak. So the market's expecting you to see year-on-year -year contraction in earnings growth for this quarter for the S&P 500 as a whole. Um, but the key is going to be the focus on guidance, because even though this quarter's numbers are expected to come in quite weak, expectations are for a really quite meaningful pickup in earnings growth uh, by the end of the year and certainly by the end of 2020. If you look at Q4 2020 earnings expectations relative to Q1 of 2020, 19 earnings expectations, they're more than 20% higher. And those numbers seem too high to us. It seems pretty unlikely that you're going to get that sort of earnings growth. So we'll be focused on whether companies are delivering some guidance, which helps to bring those earnings expectations for next year down a bit. You think they will? I think there's a good chance they will, because I think what you're starting to see is that uh, companies are getting pressured on margins. So the slowdown in uh, global trade is sort of spilling over into weaker sales for some companies that have international exposure. Uh, and combined with that, you're seeing wage growth pick up. So in sectors like, sectors like tech, for example, you're seeing really quite strong wage growth, close to 6% wage growth coming through. So that could start to squeeze margins in tech. And we think that the tech sector, therefore, earnings can come under pressure, both in terms of Q2 and guidance uh, for the coming quarters. Uh, so we'd be cautious on the tech sector and favor some of the stocks like banks, which are reporting this week. You know, I, I, I'm under the impression that we're at record highs for the U.S. stock market, Mike, and yet you're not that optimistic about corporate earnings. It seems to me that something is dislocated. Yeah, I mean, it's been fascinating at the start of this year. Ultimately, what's happened is that the earnings expectations have continued to come down, and yet markets have moved higher on the back of expectations of stimulus from the Fed. I think from here, we sort of had the market pricing in the good news that it looks like the Fed is going to provide stimulus and that we're seeing stimulus come through in China and indeed perhaps in Europe as well. But I think that rally has already been priced, that good news around stimulus. From here, we need to see the fundamental is getting better. So we need to see companies saying that, yes, those earnings expectations, which, as I say, are pretty lofty, are deliverable. And I think we need to see a turn in the economic data as well. So to get excited about significant further upside from here, I would want to see the manufacturing business surveys picking up, and I'd want to see U.S. consumer confidence picking up as well. And at the moment, we're not seeing those signs. So I think that it makes sense to be a bit more balanced and a little bit more uh, cautious in portfolios at the moment.